YouTube, 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 YouTube. What's up? It's your boy, original dog man, John Castro. I was, I'm done. I'm done with Fragcom. But people are still buying fragrances from me. Yes, I'm still selling fragrances to my subscribers. I haven't posted it online anywhere where random people could just buy from me. It's just my subscribers. But with that happening, I have three requests for me to respond to this idiot right here. Okay? Three. What is that? Oh, those Christmas lights I'm looking at from the Christmas tree over here I haven't put up yet. So, it's a reflection on the TV. They asked me to make a video on this dude. I'm done with Fradcom. I'm actually done with making YouTube videos. But I had people who I've been selling to ask me to make a video on this dude because this dude is trolling Fradcom. He's doing what I did. I was in the gaming community before he was calling out people. And I was in the fragrance community before he was. It's like he's following in my footsteps doing what I did. But we're going to make this video. And then I'm going to be done with this dude. And then he's going to make like seven videos on me. Because he knows he can't control his impulse to make videos on me. Because I God knows I made like... One video on him, and he made like seven. <laughs> seven or eight on me. Maybe six. <laughs> but we're going to analyze this video right here and show you guys just how stupid this dude is. Let's go back. <clears throat> I had the video. I don't know what happened just now. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna roll out and go do what I what I'm doing. Cause I'm sick and tired of this shit. Actually. Wow, so many people in the fragrance game now, it's just ridiculous. Fragrances are subjective. Fragrances aren't subject. Fragrances aren't subjective, is what he's saying. Let's just type that in, see if we can get to him. So I just lost the damn video. I don't know how the hell I did that. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. All right, so let's pay attention to what he says here, guys. It's fucking ridiculous, man. It's really sad. It's sad that grown men People are retarded. Doing. People are retarded. I ain't about... I ain't here. That's just how far I've went, and I watched this video. Right there, I went up to, what mark is this? A minute and 36 seconds of me watching his shit. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that this entire video is going to be bullshit. All right? It, it, I don't have to watch his whole video to know how stupid this fucking shit is going to be. You guys saw how much I watched it. That's just where I left off right there. So now I'm going to rewind from the beginning and let you guys see what's up. All right, people, I've heard two extremely stupid things. Now, this is a dude who claims he makes $100,000 a year, but yet cannot groom himself, cannot cut his own fucking hair, and cannot fucking dye 
his gray ass hair off his fucking face. He looked like he reaching about fucking 90 right here. All right. Now, I don't make that much money, but I can groom myself. I'm a grown ass man. I know how to groom myself. I don't have no fucking um you a Mexican, ain't you? You 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 a Mexican, right? You can at least cut your own fucking hair, man. Or get somebody to cut it because you're making 100 G's a year. Look at this fucking ridiculous ass shit here, guys. Over the past couple of days. And good lord, I hate stupid people. Look at this shit all I over the place. People protect the stupid way too much. So, bridge down the street. People protect the stupid people. Let's listen to what he says here, guys. All right, people. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even want to make a video on this dude. But people keep coming to me and calling me, telling me, hey, make a video about this dude. Make a video about this dude. People hate this motherfucker so much that they want me to make a video on him. I'm done, man. I'm done. I, this is my last time making a video on this. This is my last time making a video on YouTube, period. Besides me gaming, every now and then I'll jump on and play a video game and, and do a live stream just for the fucking fun of it or for the fuck's sake. But this is a dude here that's just, just fucking ridiculous. Fragrances aren't, sub fragrances aren't subjective. It's, it's fucking sad. But let's listen to what he says here. I've heard. You've heard. Two extremely stupid things. Two stupid things. Over the past couple of days. Couple of days. And good lord, I hate stupid people. You hate stupid I think we protect the stupid way too much. You think you protect the stupid people way too much. Well, you're one of those stupid motherfuckers. So bridge down the street. There's a big old fence on it. There's a bridge down the street with a big old fence on it. You know, the railing wasn't enough. They put a fence with barbed wire on top of the fence. Okay. A sign on it that says, because there's a creek down below with very little water. It's so how does that make sense? There's a fence. There's a bridge with a railing. So railings are low. So they build a fence to make it higher. So that if they jump off of it, they won't hurt themselves. Well, that doesn't make sense because if you put a fence where a railing was and you make it higher, the impact from the fall is going to be worse than if you were to jump from the fucking railing, correct? And in by wire, you would climb the fence, possibly scratching yourself up and then falling and the impact causing you. To fucking hurt yourself even worse. That makes no sense. Just leave the fucking railing, right? But let's go down to his stupid shit. Just a little bit of water. A bunch of rocks. Our society felt the need to put a sign on it. And the sign says, Do not climb fits and jump headfirst onto rocks. I wouldn't doubt if that's how this motherfucker read. You know, like a fucking pre-K. <laughs> Do not climb fence and jump onto it. Really? I don't think people make fucking signs like that anymore, man. But, uh, you know, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say people still make some stupid signs like that. I don't think the majority of society makes signs like that. Maybe. But let's see. Yes, people are so stupid. They will jump head first onto rocks. And not only that, we as a society feel the need to protect these idiots... And put a, side, uh, put a fence and a sign to protect them so that they can breed with other idiots and make one gigantic, retarded society. Yes, I... All right, so his whole, his whole premise was to say that people in society protect others in society. But then he turns around and says, people in society jump fences and create more people in society to do the same fucking thing. Makes no sense because his whole fucking reasoning of creating the fence in the first place was to prevent people from becoming idiots in society. But yet, it is society itself who created the fence. As if they created that fence to make it higher so that they could jump and reproduce and create more idiots in society. I still use the word retard. Why? Because people are retarded. 
Yeah, people are retarded like you. I ain't about. I ain't here to protect idiots. No, so you don't care about people who don't know shit. You don't care about the lesser man. You only care about the man that's above you. Pay attention, guys. You know, as people who know shit and people who have uh, foreknowledge or knowledge about the future or people who are smarter than us, we're, uh, that's our job. That's our job is to help someone who is lesser than us, who doesn't know as much as us. But this is an idiot who doesn't give a fuck about people who are below us or so-called below us because that's just an illusion of people being below us. We are actually all equal because at one point, Every last one of you motherfuckers out there were as dumb as the next motherfucker. But you refuse to see that. You think you're mighty and higher and greater than everyone else. Like this fucking idiot. Let me go over the first... But I'm here to help him. This is why I'm making this video. Stupid thing I heard. Mm -hmm. Jet Black Intense from Michael Malou is a Creed clone because it has... Citrus and wood. You know, like fucking 80% of the fucking fragrances out there. <laughs> that was the stupid part. The stupid part was... There's about 80% of the fucking fragrances out there that try to copy Creed. Yes, it's true. There's a lot of fucking Creed clones out there. Period. So what's the matter with someone's opinion of what a fragrance smells like and it smells like Creed? There's nothing wrong with that. But he wants to fucking critique the shit. And make fun of someone because of someone saying it smells like Creed. And he thinks it doesn't. It's all subjective. It's opinionated, bro. But I'm going to make you see this at the end of this video because you're just that fucking stupid. When I said, damn, you got Creed edge jet black uh, intense. And the guy's like, no. <laughs> I only have Creed. How the fuck do you know, stupid? <laughs> Because fucking, uh, some YouTuber's fucking, uh, wife, who's not, you know, in the fragrances that much, <laughs> said, oh, she reminds me of Creed. I'm gonna let y'all know something. Any YouTuber who has a wife, and any YouTuber who is into fragrances and collecting fragrances, their wives are gonna be just as much into fragrances as that fucking YouTuber. Why? Because that wife has to put up with... That husband or that YouTuber wearing those fragrances each and every day. You don't think my girl didn't know what scent I was wearing or understand the scent that I was wearing? You say she knew. She knew. My girl had a fucking awesome nose, better than mine, and she could pick out fucking different kinds of fucking notes in a fragrance more than I could. Y'all know it. Y'all watch my videos. So any YouTuber that has a wife, that wife has to put up with that YouTuber wearing those fragrances every single fucking day, if he does that. But stupid idiot wants to say stupid shit like this. <laughs> and, and you guys know that I'm fucking right. For all YouTubers out there who have a wife or a girlfriend, you know she will tell you and she will pick out the notes in that fragrance more than your ass possibly can. True. You bought that line of bullshit? Come on, man. I suggest to that person that they go climb that bridge and jump head first. Here's another stupid thing I heard. This is even stupider. Now check this out. Boy here makes $100,000, but he got a 10 cent fucking plastic cup. A hundred thousand fucking dollars, but he got a ten cent fucking plastic cup. You want to talk that shit, man? Just look at this dude here, bro. I don't brag about making money or the shit that I have or anything like that. I don't. Y'all know me. But this motherfucker is the biggest troll on YouTube with a plastic cup. He can't groom himself. Can't fucking dye his hair. He look like he turning 90 and shit. Let's well, it's not stupider. It's just uh, mm, more stupid. of the mass delusion society puts on us. Mm -hmm. Because the so more of the mass delusion that society puts on you, buddy, not me. Because you are truly mass deluded. Flicks that they want to be so inclusive. You know, everything's a tie. Everybody wins. Everybody gets a participation trophy. We're all equal. <laughs> no.
No, bitch. I don't even think he understands what the word inclusive means. I remember I met some, some chick. Everything is a tie. It's not inclusive. It's equal. That's the difference between equality and inclusive. And she was buying drugs. <clears throat> and she's like, I just... I just dropped my daughter off at my mom's. And I go... I want y'all to pay attention to this part here. Check this shit out. Ew. <laughs> and she's like, Oh, you think you're better than me? And I said, Yeah, you're a fuck. I figured it's coming. I figured this shit was coming. Here it is. Look <laughs> at it. <laughs> y'all can tell before it fucking happens. Like, every time he goes into story mode, you know he's about to fuck up. Pay attention. With children, of course I think I'm better than you. Yes. People, some people are better than other people. Wait, let's see what he said. Hold on. Dog is the... With children, of course I think I'm better than you. Yeah. At my mom's. When I go... Right about there, maybe. So inclusive. You know, everything's a tie. You know, everybody wins. Everybody gets a participation trophy. We're all equal. <laughs> no. No, bitch. I remember I met some, some chick. And she was buying drugs. And she's like, I just, I just dropped my daughter off at my mom's. And I go, ew. <laughs> He met some chick. Listen to, listen to the story because it doesn't take a genius to just figure this shit out. He met some chick and she was buying drugs. From who? He met some, some chick, he said, and she was buying drugs. How does he know that? Who was she buying the drugs from? You? Is that how you're making your 100 G's a year, my dude? But that's not the sad part, okay? If he is selling or slinging. That's not the sad part. It is sad, but that's not the real sad part. I'm going to let y'all listen to the real sad part. And she's like, oh, you think you're better than me? And I said, yeah, you're a fucking drug addict. <laughs> There it is. With children, of course, I think I'm better than you. There yes. it is. People, some people are. You think you're better than me? And he goes, yeah, I'm better than you. So let me ask you a question, man. Are you better than Bill Gates? Because he's on drugs. Are you better than the Clintons? Because they're on drugs. Are you better than Jeff Bezos? Because he's on drugs. Are you better than Elon Musk? Because he's on drugs. Are you better than anyone else who has a vice? Is the question. Because if you think that you're better than every and then anyone else, then you got the world fucked up. Because no one is better than anyone else, because we all have our vices. You understand that, right? You have a vice, you have a vice of collecting and gaming. We know this. Possibly more. It doesn't take a genius to figure this shit out. Because someone's on drugs, you think you're better than them. Well, my dude. I'm sorry to tell you, bruh, you got the world fucked up. And this is why you better stay in your little shell and hide and not be doxxed by anyone. See, everyone knows where I live. Everyone knows my whole name. I got nothing to hide, but you do. You was a little chicken shit, scared, running little bitch from everyone in society. Everyone knows where I live. Everyone knows where I work. You know my whole name, John Castro, but you won't tell us your whole name, buddy. You're a little scared, little chicken shit motherfucker. You can flex all you want. You can pretend like you're trolling YouTube. But in real life, we all know you's a bitch. Straight up. Straight up. I'm sorry to say that, man, but it's true. It's true. You think you're better than everyone else, but you're not. You're probably worse and lower on the totem pole than that poor little girl who's on drugs. That's a fact of life, man. And you need to... Honestly, you just need to check yourself. 
You need to fess up to certain things because you're not real with yourself. But let's continue. Better than other people. Mm -hmm. Joe Rogan's done drugs too. There's a lot of people out there that are well off, better off, doing better than you in society. All right? You think you're better than them? Do you think they're better than you? Hmm. Think about it, man. Like I said, there's a lot of things in life that are subjective. This video is very subjective. It's opinionated, man. You got opinionated bullshit, and everyone's got opinions, just like assholes, man. Well, the, the stupid thing I heard, the stupid thing I heard was that fragrances are subjective. They really are. You think no. that's stupid? You really think that when people say fragrances are subjective, you think that's stupid? Not only are the fragrances subjective, but the people wearing the fragrances are subjective. The people make the fragrances subjective because it's their opinions. But not only that, until you can find me a standard or the ultimate fragrance or the best smelling fragrance in the world to measure all fragrances by, then you can't say which fragrance is the best. And if you can't give me a standard and tell me or tell me which fragrance is the truth or which fragrance is the best, then fragrances will continue and always will be subjective and opinionated. Why? Because if you don't have the ultimate fragrance, if you don't have the truth or the best smelling fragrance, then all you have is your opinion. And it makes sense that if you do have the best smelling fragrance in the entire world and everyone agrees, then what's the point in collecting any other fragrance when you have the best? See, this is why you need to check yourself because you don't understand shit like this. This is why your truth can only be opinionated. It's not God's truth. It's not the ultimate truth. It is not the standard of truth. Your moral compass is all over the place, son. Your, your premise falls under the weight of his own fucking hypocrisy. That's what it does. I don't know if you understand it. I don't know if you want to get into it. But you need to check yourself and understand more truth. Or the absolute truth. Or understand about the absolute truth. Or come to at least some fucking truth. Because this video is straight garbage ass bullshit, man. They're not subjective. Some shit just is trash. That's your opinion. Like I said, some people don't understand fucking fragrances. Some people's body chemistry mixes better with certain fragrances than others. Pregnant women, their body chemistry changes when they get pregnant. People who drink too much alcohol or smoke too much or smoke too many cigarettes or cigars or weed, your body chemistry changes. If you're on heroin, your body chemistry changes. If you eat too much pork, your body chemistry changes. What the fuck don't you understand, you dumbass motherfucking cocksucker? Fragrances are very, very subjective because people are subjective. And plus, you don't have the standard of the truth. You don't have the best fragrance. God didn't give us the best fragrance. He gave us a variety. He, brought, he gave us a broad spectrum of fucking fragrances and scents and notes. But your dumbass doesn't understand this. This is why I got to make this video. One reason why I got to make it. Another reason is because it's requested three fucking times over. People keep ringing my phone for your stupid shit. God damn, man, this motherfucker here. This is trash. Okay, it's garbage. 100 G's a year. Why are you buying like a $10 fragrance, man? How much does Grey Flanel cost now, y'all? Well, 20? I don't know. Fucking 18? Why are you buying this cheap shit, man? You got 100 G's a year and you're buying Grey Flanel. What the fuck is wrong with you, stupid cocksucker? If I was making 100 G's a year, I wouldn't even buy, be buying that type of shit, man. Though some people agree that it smells good and some people disagree. But still, to me, I, if I was making 100 G's a year, I, I, possibly, I po probably wouldn't be buying it. I'd be buying some other shit. But Joe Dumbass went and picked it up. Big stupid fuck. I don't think you're making 100 G's a year. I think, I think you're fronting. That's what I think. I think you're, you're a fucking friend. You can't groom yourself. You can't cut your hair. You got a 10 cent fucking cup and a cheap ass fragrance. I bought this. I blind bought this. Oh, you blind bought it. Mm, okay. I sprayed it. I was spraying the car as soon as I got it. Oh, okay. My wife almost threw up. 
I said, this is the nastiest shit I've ever smelled. Nastiest shit you ever smelled. It stayed in the car for a month. I was afraid to even bring it into the house. I don't, I don't even want the clip. I don't even want the cap off it. But I brought, I brought it back in for this video. Uh, so, so you're running out of content. You had that shit in your car for months. And now you're running out of content. So, so you brought it in the house. Okay. Stupid. This is garbage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> YouTubers will tell you that it, it won the, the fucking Stinky Fifi Award in 1970. What do you know about Fifi? You be saying some crazy shit, man. You be saying some shit that a cop would say. That's some funny shit, man. You a cop? Hmm? How, what do you know about Fifi? Because the only prisoners know about Fifi's. Hmm. You met a girl that was buying some drugs. And now you know about Fifi's. Mm. See, all kinds of crap. I dare these YouTubers. There's literally a challenge of how many sprays of this you can wear. It's so nasty. Mm -hmm. But I dare these YouTubers to make a video, spray this crap on themselves. I gotta say something. He's got an earring on this side. He's got an earring on that side. Y'all know what earrings are for? Hmm? Earrings were worn by slaves to show ownership that they were owned by someone. That's what earrings meant. Then later on in society, putting earrings on both sides meant that you were gay. Then earrings on one side meant something totally different. I'm going to let y'all figure that shit out. But see, this dude got earrings on both sides. Hmm. You just tell a lot. You can tell a lot about a person and the shit that and the stupid shit that they do. How they live an expressive life. Hey, dog man, I'll learn y'all some shit. But let's pay attention to the rest of this shit here. See what he says. <laughs> and smelling it. Telling us how much they enjoy it because they're full of shit. This is garbage. Like I said, man, some people's body chemistry works better with certain fragrances than others. This is a fact, and I know this to be a fact because there was a girl, I had Blue Day Chanel, put it on my skin, smelled good, put it on her fucking skin, oh my god, this shit blew up like 10 times smelling better. Some people's body chemistry just smells better with certain fragrances. Somebody please educate this motherfucker because he doesn't know it. He doesn't know, he thinks all fragrances are supposed to smell the same on every fucking person. And stupid, you, you a stupid cocksucker, man, god damn. Why do I have to explain this to this fucking jack off here, man? Why do I have to do stupid shit like this? Why am I even making this fucking video? First of all, I don't understand. I really don't. But let's continue. Anybody that, that tells you they like it, that they're fooling themselves, why? I don't know. Some people just can't admit that they fucking made a mistake. Even if it's only 10 bucks. Oh, it's 10 bucks. It's garbage. 10 bucks. 100 G's a year. You bought him a $10. Blind bought a $10, $10 fragrance a month ago. Hmm. You blind bought that bitch 10 months ago. Okay. And left it in his car for a month. And, and what, his Mercedes or his BMW? Really? Okay. <laughs> okay, if I spent 300 on it, it's, it's garbage. And now, I do like the house of Michael Malou. I like every set I've had so far. Except this. <laughs> the smell you'll get from this, according to YouTubers, and what is in this, two different things. They're lying. Justin Copeland, a liar. That's where he calls out people for being opinionated. You're going to call out people for expressing their opinions and call them liars. This is where he doesn't understand the difference between intention and expression. You can't call someone a liar for being opinionated, you dumbass. You really, you uh, unless they're doing it, doing it intentionally to hurt someone. But if they're simply just giving their opinion, you can't do it, man. You see, there is, and there is sin which is intentional, and then there is the forgivable sin. 
the sin that is not unto death. That is the sin that they do, that they do not know that they are sinning. Okay? <clears throat> Some people are innocent, man. You can't call out the innocent unless you actually know that they're doing it purposely. And until then, until you can read someone's heart, you can't call someone out for that shit, man. A liar. You're a liar because you can't read people's hearts. Only God can. Only God can judge the heart. The intention of a man. Unless you know for a fact that he intentionally did it to hurt someone. Uh, red Alessence? A liar. And first of all, this dude is doing the same thing that I've been doing. I'm going to say this again. This is nothing new. I've done this type of shit in the gaming community. He came in way later and started doing it. Then he's doing it in the fragrance community. It's nothing new, man. They lie to you. They make you make it seem like this is some delicious uh, cuddle set, date night, uh, apple lavender. And out of all the people in Fragcom, you want to call out Justin Copeland. Let me tell you something about that dude. That dude does, you can tell that this dude isn't out to hurt anyone. Justin Copeland isn't out to hurt anyone, man. Don't call a dude like him out, man. Justin Copeland's been on YouTube. He's earned his subscribers fair and square as far as I can see and as far as I can tell. The dude is calm, collective. He's legit. The dude is a decent human being. But for you, a fucking YouTube troll, to call someone like that out, you're out of your fucking mind, man. You are out of your fucking mind to go after Justin Copeland, a dude who's earned his way in society. I'm not just talking about earned his way in the fragrance community, but actually earned his way, got himself a fucking degree, worked towards it. He's a music, uh, musician, and you, who fuck and talk to drug dealers, hmm? you, you want to talk shit about Justin Copeland, really? Come on, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? No. And I even questioned myself. So I dug deep. Researched. I had to find actual normal people. But... Now, I know, now I know Red Lessons is a corporate cox. I know he gets free shit all the time. I know Justin does too. But them, them dudes can make it. All right. First of all, let's get this straight. Steven has a, a, a degree. He's a teacher. All right. He can make it without the fragrances. Justin Copeland can make it without the fragrances. That's one thing you got to understand. Yeah, they get free shit, but they can they can make it without it. So you got to give them that. Turn that rock over and you will see that shit. Many of people in Fragcom don't have anything to back themselves up, don't have a degree, don't have jack shit, all right? So before you start talking shit about someone like I did because I learned, understand and ask yourself, can they make it without the fragrance community? The answer to that is yes, they can. They're doing it because it's a hobby. It's a little extra for them. If they can make it without the fragrance game, then you got to put some respect on their name. Because some of us can't make it without the fragrance game. Some of us have to use the people in Fragcom to get by. Like Dallas from Chaos Fragrance. Does he have a degree? I don't know. I don't think so. But he sure makes a whole shit lot of money out of fucking Fragcom. So let's continue with this stupid shit. YouTubers trying to make a career out of this? They described the set for what it actually was. A s overspiced white pepper that smells like black pepper. Spray it on and wash it right off scent. They're lying to you? They cannot lie to you if they're simply giving their opinion. Uh, it's not subjective. It is subjective. What a dumbass. This 
dum 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 because that's in my fucking head because you're so fucking stupid. It's subjective, idiot. It's subjective. If it's coming from the individual, it is a subjective thing. The whole fucking thing is subjective. The fragrance itself is subjective if you don't have a standard of the best fragrance. Oh my god. Well, how fucking stupid are people today? I don't know anybody that wants to smell like an overseas fucking steak. No, people know what smells good and what doesn't. This doesn't smell good. No, if you've wasted your money on it. No, man. It's all opinionated, bruh. I can wear Bentley and Tess for Men and half the people say it smells good and half the people say it stinks. That's just that, man. That's just that. For real. I mean, fuck. How stupid can you fucking be, bro? Like, for real, for real. I bottle of this. This fucking burnt. This shit makes me cringe, man. Toffee smelling crap. Some people think burnt toffee smells good, bro. Come on. I have a fix. The company called, and this is a fix for a lot of sh- Burnt toffee. You guys ever had creme brulee? You guys know what creme brulee is? That's kind of like burnt toffee. It just smells good. It's a good smelling fucking dessert. But let's listen to this dumbass. Yeah, that smells funky. It's called solid notes. They make one note fragrances you can find them at Target. They're dirt, dirt cheap. Like six bucks. Oh, there you go. Buying some more cheap shit, Mr. $100,000 man. Going to Target, buying some more cheap shit. <laughs> this dude opens himself up every fucking time. Mr. $100,000 a year man going to Target, buying some dirt cheap shit. Let, let's listen to what he says, though, because I, I, I believe he's about to say something now. Let's listen. Bucks. Eight bucks for a little vial. I got three big ones for free. Oh, shit. He's going and getting free shit now. Mr. $100,000 man doesn't buy all his shit, y'all. He gets some shit for free. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I'm fucking... I'm done, man. I am so done with this dude. This dude is, is just, this dude's a walking contradiction, man. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll, I'll tell you the crazy story. Wait, and I before when I, when I was looking through his videos, he said I think he has a video titled "Um, I will never accept money from Super Chat or some shit like that." I believe he will never accept. So I'm guessing he says he will never accept free shit, but. He just did right here. Let's listen. Let's see. I think he said he accepted free shit, didn't he? Yeah, I think I'm right. I think he... Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll, I'll tell you the crazy... St- you can tell the crazy story. It's called Solid Notes. They make one-note fragrances. You can find them at Target. They're dirt, dirt cheap. Like dirt cheap. Six bucks. Six bucks. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. For a little vial. For a little vial. I got... Three big ones for free. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll, I'll tell you the crazy story of how I ended up with a fucking three pack of solid oats for free. Mm, solid, solid oats. Solid notes. Is that what it is? But if you have this nasty shit, spray one spray, layer it, spray one spray of Tonka, Tonka over it. It will turn this garbage into it. While you were at Target, you actually should have bought you some clippers or some trimmers and, and, and groomed yourself because you look like, I don't know, like a fucking bird's nest right there. Like a bird about to fly into your mouth and, and, and just lay some fucking eggs or something because that's what the fuck you look like. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. A masculine, manly version of Parfums to Barley Layton. Uh-huh. It will be finally what the notes describe it as no. and it will be a lot closer to what these frauds are telling you this is no. but just like this no. no and it's not subjective no. if you don't believe me go get a sample and tell me I'm wrong tell me this isn't a, a overspiced over peppery fucking mess
fragrances are not subjective. The shit either smells good or it doesn't. Fragrances are not subjective. It either smells good or it doesn't. A fragrance being smelling good is still subjective. And a fragrance not smelling good is still subjective. <laughs> what don't you understand? Subjective can go either way, buddy. Bad or good. Now, let me try to explain this to this cocksucker because he doesn't know what subjective means. You see, there's a difference, people. And I'm going to say this again because still a lot of people don't understand it. Subjective moral values is simply good or bad. It is your opinion, your emotions, and your personal fucking feelings. It is grounded in expression and necessity. You'll see a lot of people necessitate their reasonings, okay? They'll try to tell you that my reasoning is the truth, and it is the absolute truth. This is what he's trying to do here. That is not the case. Why? Because he doesn't have a standard of the best fragrance. He doesn't know what the best fragrance is, and until he does, every other fragrance behind him or behind his reasoning is opinionated. Now, objective moral duties is grounded in God's truth, and it is based on right and wrong. Not good and bad, right and wrong. This is why a lot of people don't understand the difference between good and bad and right and wrong. And it is based on right and wrong, and it is based on intention and certainty. This is when you can objectify to something, and you can say, no, that's not the truth. This is the truth. That's the difference between subjective moral values and objective moral duties, which comes from God. Objective moral duties is not subjective. Something that is objective and you know for a fact, you can objectify to something that is subjective. Get it? <clears throat> we certainly know for a fact that rape is wrong. We find these things to be self-evident, which we know deep down by a revelation from God that we know it is wrong. But if we are simply animals, then rape is simply part of the animal kingdom. It's part of the nature of an animal. Are we animals? No, we're humans. We are separated from the fucking animals. We are not animals, people. We are humans. We, are, we have been given inspiration, intuition, and the difference to know the difference between to know the difference between right and wrong and good and bad. Animals don't know that fucking difference, man. This is why a lion kills a zebra without thinking, without having remorse or conscience to it. Is simply part of them surviving. If society is only meant to survive. And the stronger get strong. And the weaker get weak. And we are not humans. We are animals. But we know as humans. We help our brethren. And our sisters. Come up. We don't try to belittle them. We try to help them. But. Bitches like this. Who don't want to believe in a higher being or a higher cause or the truth or the absolute truth. And there's only here and their only intent is to hurt people. Then these are the people y'all need to watch out for and put in check. Because a motherfucker like him isn't doing society any good. He's only here to hurt. It's your boy, Rhythm Dog, man. I'm out. I hope y'all get a lesson from this because I'm done making these types of videos. And I'm done schooling bitches like this. This motherfucker is almost 90 years old with all this fucking gray hair and he still doesn't know the difference between good and bad, right and wrong. He doesn't know the difference between subjective moral values and objective moral duties. This dude is stupid as fuck. He's going to remain in his own ignorance and he's going to wallow and fucking stay stagnant in the same old bullshit he possibly been staying in all his fucking life. Peace the fuck out.